Good morning, my friend. Today is a big day. This is my first ever full screen day. I have a full screen at 1 p.m. This is not the same one that I talked about in my last video. This is another full screen that I got. I woke up so many times last night because I think my body just knew that something was going on. And this morning, phone screen, phone screen, phone screen, phone screen was the only thing going through my mind that I almost forgot that I have to film. The study session starts in 10 minutes. I'm gonna spend the entire study session and then some to prep for the phone screen. I was told that most of the phone screen will be behavioral interviews. However, I am slightly concerned that they're going to ask me one or two statistics questions or one or two case studies. So I'm gonna try to sprinkle those into my interview prep in my study session today. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna nail this. We got this. We're gonna do great. The probability of finding an effect that did not occur by chance. Finding an effect when there is effect effect. And power is In the past hour, I really only did statistics. I just tried to verbalize um, or memorize p-value, z-test, t-test, and hypothesis testing, and also try to verbalize those for non-technical audience. That took me a whole hour. Just finished the second hour of the study session. I spent pretty much the entire hour prepping myself with behavioral questions. Um, so things such as, tell me about a time when you were faced with challenges in one of your data projects and how do you resolve that? I feel like I'm not as stressed about the behavioral part of the interview. I wrote down a couple of examples for these behavior questions. Now it's just a matter of familiarizing myself with these examples so that it can come off as confident when I talk about it. Confident but not rehearsed. I think my body is fully engaged in fight or flight mode that I today had no need for coffee. I don't feel hungry. Typically, I feel like I need a snack at this point. Don't want a snack. It's like all of my bodily function has ceased because of this interview. <gasps> now it's three hours of studying for interview prepping. I really, all I did today was interview prep. In the last hour, I basically answered a bunch of behavioral questions that I found online. And when I feel like I couldn't do that anymore because it's just becoming a little too much, I looked back to my GitHub project portfolio and try to remember what I did, uh, what kind of feature engineering I did and what kind of machine learning uh, methods I used and in case my projects that I did on my resume was not enough I will use these non-resume projects to cover some of the behavioral interview questions that may come up like what are some of the things that you did in feature engineering I feel like I can't possibly do more interview prep uh, like an hour and 20 minutes before my interview. Maybe I'll go for a walk after I eat. Whatever I prepped for up until this point, this is it. I don't think I'm doing more. No more. I'm, I'm calling it. This is the stopping point. I don't I think I'm th this is as ready as I am ever going to be. So. I got this though. I got this. <sighs> this is my very 
easy and simple, but I have a sparkling water and a yogurt parfait with ah, uh, chocolate granola and berries. <sighs> I haven't interviewed for so long that finally interviewing is pushing me so far out of my comfort zone. I am extremely uncomfortable today, if you can't tell already. Like, am I even hungry? Who is she? <laughs> I'm outside on a walk. It is very bright, first of all. So don't mind me squinting, I can barely see. I keep feeling this knot in my stomach from nervousness when I was at home. I'm about 40 minutes until my phone screen. It's not even a phone screen. It's a video screen. I got this. I got this. It's just a job. It's not that big of a deal. Even it is that big of a deal. I got this. I'm 10 minutes away from my interview. This is my setup. My fan is on because I'm sweating my balls off. And just one screen. I'm not gonna do multiple screen and have issues. Got my data science cheat sheet, resume, blank sheet of paper to take notes. And I am in battle mode. I'm standing. I don't know what was the last time that I stood, but I figured if I stand, then I can maybe like move a little bit more freely and my voice might sound a little bit better because I'm upright. Am I thinking too much about this? Most definitely, but well, we want to present ourselves in the best light, okay? I'm two minutes early, but I'm going to join the call. My heart is going to beat out of my chest. Nice meeting you too. How are you? Pretty awesome. I, I felt bad last time when I booked your calendar. I booked it during lunchtime. So I feel a lot better about this time slot because it's after lunch. <laughs> I just finished the interview not too long ago. I am sweating. I don't know if it's because it's actually hot or because I'm just so nervous that I, like, s sweating a bucket of liquid. My God, I don't know how the phone screen went. There are a couple of good things and bad things. The first good thing was the interviewer asked me about projects that was on my resume. And I talked about two projects. Uh, the first project that I talked about, there wasn't a lot of technical questions. A lot of it was what happened after my data analysis. And that was the first good thing. The second good thing is that I learned more about the team structure and we talked about what the potential path, a career path for this data scientist at the company would be. And I got out of the interviewer what kind of skills he is looking for in a potential candidate. So those are the good things. I learned a lot about the position. Um, places where I think I could do better was the initial like self-introduction. I talked a lot about my experiences, but I don't think I quantified a lot of them. I don't know if that's important because it is written in my resume, um, but I basically went in chronological order of like why I have a passion for data science or where my passion for data science came from. So that could be improved. I had a complete different script, but the way that the question was phrased didn't really allow me to use my like bullet point of scripts. And another thing, this could be the killer of the interview, 
was that he asked me about a project that I worked on and he followed up with a lot of questions. There are a lot of things that he didn't understand. Now, where I think I could do better was he asked me a lot of questions. Instead of like clarifying those questions, I just went ahead and answered it. And I think one time he said, no, 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 I understand what you're saying. My question is, when the interviewer is asking for clarifying questions, I should maybe repeat and rephrase it and be like, I understand your question to be X, Y, Z, am I right? And then proceed to answer the question. Because I think we at least spend like 20, 20 minutes on this one project, which could have covered a lot more of my resume. Well, whatever it is, the good thing is that it's over. There's nothing I can do now besides sending a thank you email, but we're done for the day. I'm gonna go work now with my really sweaty, sweaty back. <sighs> Now that it's been a couple of hours since my interview, the appetite has returned. So, we're back to normal. I'm taking a break from work and eating some snack. And the protein bar. 15 grams of protein and a whole lot of sugar because it's so sweet. Initially, I got dressed to go to the gym. On second thought, I'm just gonna do a Peloton ride at home. It's kind of late, and I do want to have real food today for dinner. So I think I'm gonna make a chicken pesto pasta. And if I do that, I probably don't have a lot of time to spend at the gym. If I'm only going for like half an hour to do cardio anyway. Might as well do it at home. This is how often I read my Peloton, y'all. Look at the dust that's on there. <laughs> Gross. We have here some homemade pesto with the obviously red chili flakes in it. I'm gonna end the video here. Today was a stressful day, but I'm so glad I'm done with the first interview. I'll hear back, I think, Friday on whether I go to the next stage of interviews with this one company. All right, I will see you back here again soon. Bye.